So as you all know, I'm living in Dubai now and have finally set up my property filming business. I actually have a property tour which should be up on my second channel and now it's of a five million pound house. It is ridiculous. Anyways, I thought it'd be a great idea to compare the contrasting food cuisine and restaurants in Dubai, varying from a whole tray of food which only cost one dollar versus our final meal which cost a lot of money. But in total, I spent over a thousand dollars on food which all ended up being flushed down the toilet. But regardless of Dubai being such an expensive place, if you look past what you see on Instagram, there is a lot of traditional and very cheap food to be found and also this video is sponsored by our good friends at Squarespace so yeah let's get right into the video so we're currently on our way to a place called Mina Bazaar in the old part of Dubai we have found a lot of different very cheap food spots some of which costing only one dollar which is insane considering Dubai is known to be a very very expensive place first though we need to get out some cash because I imagine a lot of these spots won't be accepting cards I don't think we're really gonna need much money today. 100 dirham should be fine. That's about 20 pounds. Wow, look at that. Absolutely balling. Okay, so we're now in a place called Al Fahidi, which is one of the oldest heritage sites in Dubai, dating back to the 19th century. It was basically a trading hub for textiles and pearl merchants. The first spot we we're going to is called Veg World, which sells vegetarian Indian food. So we're gonna check it out, see how much it costs, and see how good the food is. Hello, how are you? Masala dosa then, please. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, so I've actually ordered something called a sada dosa, which only cost me £1.90. We're going to a lot of places today, so I'm going to try and not order too much each place so I don't fill myself up. But it's basically like a massive bread kind of thing. Glenn's got something very similar. How is it? Really good, good to be fair, mate. Yeah. I'm happy. Okay, so I have a solid three people stood right behind me to my right, watching me right now. You know what? That is really good. That is really good. Finished all my food, it was really good actually. Highly recommend if you want to get some Indian vegetarian food. Glenn, what's your rating out of 10? Uh, Glenn out of 10. I'll, I'll give it a seven. Seven? A seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Seven solid, it was, it was nice. It is gonna cost us 29 durham. That is six pounds. We got two coats and two meals. That's not bad. Enjoyed our food, please ring the bell. Thank you guys, thank you. Okay, so this is the second place, Foodie Junction. We're going to be getting vegetable samosas. We're going to see how much they are, and we're going to see how they taste as well. After you, Glenn. Thank you. Okay, so the samosas weren't actually ready, so instead we've got a kachuri, which only costs 40p each. Obviously, this isn't a full meal. It's only a little snack, but it should taste good. Extremely cheap. Glenn can't handle the spice. <laughs> He's got out the water. <laughs> All right, big old taste test. Mmm, mmm. That is really good. Wow. It's basically like a pastry with onions and a hair on. I don't know if that was supposed to come with it. <laughs> oh well. Probably doesn't have COVID in. I actually really like it. At this point, it is getting quite spicy. Ooh. <sighs> He's staring. Oh, he is. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. Thanks for the content, mate. We are now finished at Foodie Junction. The food was great. Highly recommend that dish or snack, whatever you want to call it. I'll give it... 7.5. A 7.5 out of Glenn. The spice slapped me a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, oh, you can't handle the spice, neither can I to be honest. Anyways, on to the next spot. Alright, and the next place is called Frisian Cafeteria. They have a few different options here. Falafel, falafel sandwich, there's samosa. Okay, thank you. Welcome. We're now back at the Airbnb. We were very full earlier, so we decided to bring it home with us. Both of these were six Durham's. Durham's? Or Durham's? AED. AED. Both of these were six Durham's, which is only 60p each, which is extremely cheap for what you get. That is quite a big falafel sandwich. This is actually really good. I am a big fan. Sofa is also a fan. Now we're going to the best spot out of them all. We're getting a whole tray of food for only £1.20, I think it is. Maybe £1, which is just over a dollar. I don't know why I still think it's a good idea to put dollars in the title. It just means I don't have to spend a thousand pounds. I only have to spend a thousand dollars. So we've now arrived at the final cheap place of the day. Karakosh restaurant is called it. It's right behind me. Uh, can I get the uh, veg tali, please? Thank you Thank so you much. Do. Oh my day. That's mad. That's <laughs> mad. I cannot believe how much food we have just been given for £1.20. A meal deal costs £3 as a ripper. What do we try first? I'd go for the roti and the chickpea curry. All right, everybody in this restaurant is staring at me right now, but it's okay. It's fine. I'm not embarrassed. 
that is so good. No, that's so good. I've basically finished all my food. I've given it my best effort. My mouth is on fire right now. Honestly, that tastes so good. I highly recommend this place. Again, if you want to save money in Dubai and try out some proper cheap food, then do come here. Then, out of 10. I've got, I've got to give it an eight. Eight. Uh, the fact that he's given you refills, the fact that it's cost you like a quid to start with. I mean, a bit hot. I am sweating like mad. But yeah, no, eight. I give it a solid eight. 18. Thank you. And there we go. Ka -ka -ka -kar -ka Karakot. 18 dirham for two meals, two drinks. That is just over three pounds, which is just ridiculous. I'm now going back home, going to bed, probably gonna sit in the toilet all night. And tomorrow, we're gonna be spending a thousand dollars on the most expensive restaurants, slash lunch or breakfast, whatever places in Dubai. You know exactly what I'm going to say. Over 220% of you aren't subscribed. Don't question that number, okay? So please help out your boy. We're trying to hit a million subscribers this year. Press the button and uh, it'll make me happy. Thank you. Okay, so we actually get free valet parking included with our booking. As you can see, the guy's taking our car right there. And let me just quickly show you some of the cars that are parked. It's absolutely insane. The Rolls Royce, there's a G-Wagon, there's a Lamborghini Euro. Anyways, enough car talk. We're now gonna go into the restaurant. It's called Azil. Azil, I think it is. Okay, so we're now at Azil. We came into the restaurant. I asked the guy if it was okay for me to film. I got talking about YouTube. He's basically decided he is gonna pick what we're gonna be eating today. Obviously, I told him I only eat fish. Our drinks are just arriving now. Wow, they look beautiful. I've got my mocktail. Glenn has got his cocktail. Cheers, matey. Cheers, fella. Appreciate Cheers this. Cheers to the number one restaurant in Dubai. What a madness. Go on, taste test. I mean, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's not quite a double body Red Bull, but you know, <laughs> no, not kidding. quite Stella. Cheers to everyone at home. So as I mentioned earlier, this video is of course sponsored by Squarespace. It's basically an online platform where you can make any kind of website with no coding skills whatsoever. There are a ton of different beautiful templates to choose from, so you don't even need to have that creative skill to make your website look good. Whether you're making an online business or whether you need a portfolio for your uni work or just an interactive CV, something a little bit better than a document. You can also add extensions onto your Squarespace website so you can sell clothes, you can sell jewelry, you can sell literally anything. You're able to see your analytics as well to see where people are coming from to your website. Website. It's so easy to create new pages, to link the pages and drag different sections into different places. You don't have to spend any money to try it out. Go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And then when you're ready, make sure you go to squarespace.com slash Ben Morris to save 10% off your first website purchase or if you want your own custom URL domain you can save 10% off that as well. Maybe I'll have to make another Squarespace website when I bring back the post you hoodies. Let me know if I should down below. Let's get back into the video and try some more food. Thank you, that looks so good. This is uh, our Asil Meza platter, is our okay. signature. Served in this beautiful plate filled with a crushed ice and served with the uh, Aladdin lantern in the middle. I cannot believe how much food we've just got given and this is only the starter. Oh my days, this is ridiculous. Wow, I don't even know where to start. Like, I don't want to ruin it. Thank you very much. The reason why we're getting a lot of food is because he wants us to try everything. I probably won't be able to eat it all. I hate wasting food, but I want to try out all the cuisine. Hummus is something which you wouldn't think would be able to taste like much better than anything standard from Tesco, but this is so good. It is so good. I do not understand what they're putting inside this, whether it's legal. Glenn, give us your review. What are you saying? Mate, as, as someone who loves like Lebanese, meze food, all that, this is the best I've ever had. Like, really? Full stop, end of, the best I've ever had. Wow. I'm going to be in a food coma with the amount I'm going to eat today, I promise. So you. can I cut your pay for the month? Yeah, mate. Pay me a meal deal. That's calm. A Just meal like, deal? A meal deal. That's I'm not much less than I pay you anyway, is that? So the manager who's saying this spoke to me about all the different dishes. We had a great chat about food, how COVID had affected their business, and how hard they've worked to be the number one rated restaurant in Dubai on TripAdvisor, which is an extremely cool achievement. Glenn had some kind of steak skewer, which he assures was very tasty, and I had a hairy looking sea bass which was also amazing and we uh, also got served dessert which was such a struggle to finish overall amazing experience great meal and great service as well glenn is now having an espresso i need to be woken up mate i'm in a food coma right now honestly to now finish all the food i'm so full there was so much i don't know how we managed to finish it i just want to say as well i'm not getting this for free i'm not getting paid by the restaurant i don't have a deal with them i'm paying for my meal in full no wonder this place is ranked number one in the whole of dubai however tomorrow we're gonna to be going to a restaurant in the tallest building in the world. 
and it is a lot of floors up. So we have just received the bill. Guesses, you said 1K. You said 1K, Durham, right? Yeah, 200 pound 1K. Yeah. I think it's gonna be about 900. This is the first time seeing a bill. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. I mean, like, uh, it's, that's still like... It's still a lot of <laughs> it's money. Still a lot of money, but... but for what it was... <laughs> hey Siri, how many pounds is 815 Durham? It is 161 pounds for two people for all that food. I don't think that's too bad for the best restaurant in Dubai. The next day we headed to the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa, to have afternoon tea at a restaurant called Atmosphere. Alright, so we're trying to discreetly film because there's a lot of people here who I don't think would want to be filmed, so uh, yeah. Basically we've come for afternoon tea and what you get is mini sandwiches, a main course, I'm getting salmon, Glenn is getting steak, they were the only two options. I've also seen in the menu there is a gold coffee, I think I have to make. I don't know how or why they're putting 24 karat gold plates on a coffee. Maybe it'll make me smarter or richer. How does it taste? Posh coleslaw in a tube. <laughs> Posh coleslaw in a tube. Posh coleslaw in an ice cream cone. 99p Cornetto. Where's the flake, Dad? Rip off. 100 pounds and you don't even get flake. If that isn't value for money, then I don't know what is. But there is a nice view. Wow. So I've now just got a big plate of Mr. Kipling's and they look so good. Do you feel like there's just places you shouldn't be? Now for the caviar. This is funny because I just still do get meal deals when I'm in England. Blasphemy, he's mixing them. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get so much hate for that. So we've now got the main courses. I've got salmon, Glenn has got steak. I think they uh, forgot the rest of the steak, but uh, yeah, hopefully it tastes good. Do you want to try it, mate? Yeah. Shove it in your gob. Okay, it is very nice. Is it? Mm -hmm. It's it good. Is, it is very, very. It's very nice. nice. Everyone's just gonna have to trust us that our very nice review just means it's good. All right. Cheers to this, boys. Wow, that is so good. Is it as good as your Tesco salmon? Not sure about Tesco salmon. Nowhere near Waitrose. Nowhere near Waitrose. I think I would have been an absolute fool to come here, planning to spend a lot of money and not order the gold coffee, so I've ordered it. Am I going to beat when I go through metal detectors at the airport now? <laughs> oh my days. That is actual gold. That is crazy, bro. And I'm eating it. Can I not just take it off and like, melt it down and sell it on? It's just gone. It's just melted. It disappeared. Gold. But more importantly, this coffee comes out of an animal's so I think it should taste, actually no, it shouldn't taste good. They wash it afterwards, it's I fine. Okay, they wash it then, that's fine. Let's take the caviar out of your toilet later, yeah? Oops. Yes, I did just spill all of my 32 pound coffee. Please like the video for the algorithm so I can actually earn the money back. That would be greatly appreciated. Oh my God. No oh, I just, I just spilled the whole coffee. I cannot believe this. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. <laughs> I just haven't even tried it yet. I haven't tried the bloody coffee. I just spilled it all over the table. Alright, we've still got half it though. We've still got half it. It's all There's good. still plenty left, Ben. I just don't want him to know. I don't want them to know that I spilled it. I can't believe I just said that, but they're actually getting me a new coffee. I insisted them not to get me a new coffee because I felt so bad. They said they're getting me a new coffee, so I'm getting another one. But that's really nice, mate. But it tastes better off the table. Okay, it's very tasty. £30 gold coffee. Is it worth it? Mmm. Probably not, but really tasty? we are at the Burj. Thank you so much. Welcome. It was amazing. And there we have it. Dinner at the tallest restaurant in the whole world, I think. The tallest in a building anyway. The whole experience was amazing. The view was beautiful and uh, highly recommend. It cost £230 for both of us. Included was that gold coffee, which was an extra £30. If you have the money, uh, then why not, you know, it's in the Burj Khalifa, which is crazy. It shares the name with uh, a great actor, so you might as well go. Anyways, I'm heading to my office, which is in that building somewhere, to do some work, and I'll see you guys a bit later on. We are now on our way to the final restaurant called Doors Freestyle. I've ordered something very, very crazy from the menu. I read about it online, and once I saw it, I knew I had to get it. And as well as that, I have a little surprise for Glenn. He doesn't know what it is yet. I may or may not have told the restaurant it's his birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry about this one, lad. It should be funny, though.
We are now at the restaurant, however, I did forget my white shirt. Luckily, I've got in with this extremely creased white t-shirt. Annoyingly, there's music playing, so I might get copyrighted, but I'm gonna try my best to film everything. Well then, Hello. all right, the surprise for you is, you ready? I have ordered you the golden steak. Shut up. Yeah. Honestly, mate, I might as well just not pay you. Paid in gold steaks, apparently. <laughs> That's sick, man. Thank you. We've also 100% been given the best table in the restaurant. And that is the, the River? The River Thames. The buy edition. Yeah, the River Thames. We've got the gherkin over there. We also got some overpriced fancy mocktails. Basically, a kid's version of the Alchemist. Nice little mocktail for Glenn. Oh, cheers, everyone. Mate, that's the gold steak. <laughs> Insane, mate. Insane. Casual bit of cold on the steak. What? <laughs> what world am I in? This is made 10 times more nuts by the fact I don't actually own anything gold. <laughs> and I just about eat it. Like Eat it then, lad. Okay. Is that, it good? That is good. Yeah. Really? That's really good. Nice, nice. I'm glad because it's quite a lot of money. And that is my fish. It's gonna blow away. I have now got my golden sea bass and it is a whole ass fish. I don't really see the point in putting gold on food. I don't get why people do it. I guess it's cool. It just makes it bloody expensive. Right, so, a good bit of gold and fish. Wow, that is amazing. That is so good. And a chip. It's actually all right. It's Out of quite 10. good. Out of 10. I'd give this a solid nine and a half, you know, this fish is. Good. Negative 0.5 because they ruined it with the gold on top. If only that fish knew it was going to get covered in gold after it died. What a lucky fish. Well, not that lucky because it's dead. But it did taste great. I'm really sorry to any vegans listening right now. But uh, yeah, we finished all of our food and got the bill, which made me feel so sick. £362. Possibly the most painful part, though. A portion of chips cost £12. Like, how? Unfortunately, this is the end of the video, so if you did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what your favorite meal deal is, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. We are on the road to a million, and I will delete my channel if we don't hit it by the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, just subscribe, please. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you very soon with another video. Goodbye.